It was a busy time on the island of Sodor. More passengers were coming to the island, and the goods trains were getting heavier. The engines managed well, but they did need another engine to help, especially on the main line. What we need is another engine. Yes, and one who can especially take goods trains. These loads are starting to get even heavier. I wouldn't mind taking some, but I am needed here to shunt your trains. That's very true. Hopefully the fat controller can find another engine soon. The next day, the fat controller went to the mainland with Thomas to find another engine. Good morning, sir. And good morning to you, too. Now, I need a goods engine for the main line. Do you have any available? Yes, we do. Allow me to show you. And so the manager showed him all the engines. Then, the fat controller saw a smart-looking blue engine. Hello there. What's your name? My name is Jessica, sir. Jessica, if I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what I like to hear. I'll take Jessica, please. You're gonna love working on Sodor, Jessica. When they arrived at Natford, the Fat Controller introduced Jessica to the other engines. They all said hello and made her feel welcome. Hello, Jessica. We hope you enjoy our lovely island. Soon, Jessica was at work pulling goods trains. She was doing a great job. The trucks were behaving, her trains were on time, and she made many new friends, especially with Henry as he even showed her the beautiful forest and how peaceful it was. They were watching a family of deers when Boko arrived. Hello, you two! Oh, now look what you've done, Boko! What? What did I do? You scared a family of deers away! Oh my, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That's okay, Boko. You didn't see them. Henry was still cross. Anyways, the Fat Controller wanted me to tell you that he needs you back at Natford. He has an important job for you. Really? That's great! I'll go there right away. See you later, Henry. Bye, Jessica. See you later, Henry. Bye, Boko. When Jessica arrived, the Fat Controller came out to see her. Hello, sir. I heard from Boko that you have an important job for me. Yes, indeed. I would like you to take those brand new sailboats to the fishing village. They look very lovely. I'd be happy to take them. Soon Jessica was coupled up to the train and was ready to go. Have you delivered boats before, Jessica? No, I haven't. Then would you like me to help you? I can also show you the way to the fishing village. I'm sure Jessica doesn't need any help. She is a very strong tank engine, so taking those sailboats shouldn't be a problem. But before Jessica could reply, the guard blew the whistle, and she had to go. Um, thanks anyways, Boko. As Jessica traveled along the line, the engines were very surprised to see her pulling a special boat train. Jessica felt very important, but since she didn't know the way to the fishing village, she had to stop and ask for help. The fishing village is just further down the line. 
You just have to make it over a steep hill. Do you think you can manage? I think so. I am a pretty strong engine. Right, yo. See you later, Jessica. Bye, Toby. When Jessica made it to the hill, she gave it all she had. I can do it. I can do it. Jessica was almost at the top when suddenly she stopped. Come on, Jessica. We're nearly at the top. I can't move. I think I'm stuck. And she was. The train was too heavy for her. Then it dragged her back down. Oh dear, I knew these boats were too heavy for me. How am I gonna get to the fishing village now? Maybe I can help. Boko, I'm so happy you're here. I was on my way to Brendam Docks when Toby told me that you were taking these boats up Gorn's Hill, so I thought I would come and see if you needed any help. Yes, I do. These boats are too heavy for me to handle on my own. But you did manage to make it all this way by yourself, and that is very impressive. That made Jessica feel better. Come on, I'll help you get to the fishing village. So Boko buffered up and pushed Jessica up the hill. And then, he showed her the way to the fishing village, where Arthur was waiting for them. Well done! You made it here right on time! Well, I wouldn't have made it here if it wasn't for Boko. Soon the workmen unload the boats into the water. Thanks to you two, the fishermen will be able to catch lots of fish. Jessica and Boko felt very proud. Later, Jessica told the other engines about her delivery and how Boko had helped her. Henry now felt bad for being angry at Boko. Boko, I'm very sorry for being rude to you earlier. You did a good job on helping Jessica today. Thank you, Henry. An apology accepted. And from that day on, Henry, Boko, and Jessica became very good friends. The next day, it was time for Jessica to head back to the mainland. You were a great help on my railway, Jessica, and that makes you a really useful engine. Thank you, sir. I do hope I can come back again. If we ever need help, I'll be sure to contact your owner. It was now time for Jessica to go. Goodbye, Jessica. Hope to see you again soon. Same here, and take care. Thanks, you guys. <coughs> Goodbye, everyone. And with that, Jessica chuffed her way back home. <coughs>